What is up fellow game developers, my name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video we'll be continuing on with our 2D platformer and we're going to basically create an enemy that patrols back and forth on a platform using ray casts to detect whether it's going to fall off the edge or not. So once it gets to the edge it'll turn around and come back the other way. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're in Unity again, back in our scene. So last time we added shooting to our game, this time we're gonna add a patrolling enemy. And then in a future video, we're adding fighting and collisions between them two to cause damage and stuff like that. So as you can see, shooting and that. So let's add in our enemy. Now we're not gonna have a graphic for our enemy yet. We're just gonna use a simple sprite. So if we go to our sprite and we drop in a circle, I'm gonna drop him up here to start with. I'm going to set him to about 1.5 and then about 3, maybe less, 2, 3, 3 will do. We're going to add a circle collider 2D and we're going to leave that as it is. I'm going to set a rigid body 2D, set its collision to continue, actually no it doesn't need to be continuous. Um, and what we're going to do is freeze its rotation on the C axis. Now we're going to give this a tag called enemy save go back to the enemy give him a tag of enemy rename him to enemy and well yeah so now we have our enemy set up we want to basically set up another empty game object inside of him called um well, what's it called patrol or patrol ball patrol pot spot raycast raycast ball i don't know um it should be called uh, ground check and what we're going to do is quickly just throw on like a little red boy here. Uh, and then we're going to put this in front of our player. So I'm going to move him about to 1 and then down to about 0 0.5. Minus 0 0.5. Uh, maybe 0 0.3. That looks about right, right, right. <laughs> That's fine. So we've got our ground check and our enemy. Now, as you can see, when we move our enemy back and forth, this will be uh, also moving back and forth. Now, what this is going to do is go shoot a ray cast below itself. I'm actually going to bring it closer to the enemy, actually, or to our player. We could actually have it slightly closer, like 0 0.5, because that will still check if it's near the edge, uh, which is fine. We'll keep it 0 0.5. Um, so, yeah, so this is basically going to shoot a ray cast from below itself into the ground to check if it's... Uh, still above ground if it comes over and it's no longer touching the ground then the enemy will turn around and go back the other way so it doesn't matter how big your platform is you just drop a patrolling enemy let's actually rename him to patrolling enemy um you drop a patrolling enemy on a platform and it'll just go back and forth until um well until you know it hits hit sake or loses sake anyway let's add a script to our character call it uh patrol enemy patrol the enemy patrol script sounds about right let's go create an add now i'm just going to close this and i'm going to close this i'm going to drag both these into the scripts because you know they should be in the scripts and then i'm going to once it loaded up uh, oh, really game okay, really just give me my patrolling enemy there you go i'm going to double click on our patrolling enemy and open it up in visual studio code Okay guys, so now we are in Visual Studio Code, we're just going to write a few things. The first variable we're going to do is float of speed, or a, sorry, a public float of speed. I'm going to set it equal to like 2 for now. We're then going to have a public rigid body 2D, and we'll call it RB. We'll then have a public layer mask. What is with my um, Visual Studio? It's so broken. Um, we're going to set, or we're not going to set that to anything, or we're going to name it, sorry, to uh, ground layers. We're then going to go into, well, we're going to set up a public transform to our ground check. Um, and then we just need a boolean called is facing right, which is set to true by default. So our player will up mob our mob our npc will always be facing right to start with um we're just going to now say we're going to get an update function or actually we need another variable called a physics 2d hit or no a ray cast hit 2d and we'll call it hit so what these are so obviously we've got our speed for how fast our 
uh, enemy patrols a platform. Our rigid body 2D is um, obviously what will get used to add velocity to our player. Our ground layer is obviously the layers which we're checking for ground. And then our ground check is where we're going to shoot our ray cast from. Is facing right tells us which way the player is facing and our hit tells us, gives us the information of what we're hitting. So if we're actually touching, if our patrol is walking off the edge. So what we're going to do now is go to an update function and say hit is equal to physics 2D dot raycast dot raycast and then we're going to give it an origin which is going to be our ground check dot position we're then going to give it a direction which will be transform dot uh, up and it's going to be a minus transform dot up because we want to go down we're then going to give it a distance of just one f for now and we're then going to say uh, what is it it's we're going to give it our ground layers so what we're saying here is we're going to say we want to check for a physics rate. We're going to shoot a ray cast out from our ground check position. We're going to shoot it downwards for one uh, float unit. Um, and then we're only checking if we're, going, if we're hitting ground layer. So we're going to ignore every other layer we're hitting. Then we want to go into our fixed update. Oh, not a fixed joint. Thank you very much. A fixed update. And we're going to say if hit.collider is not equal to false or not equal to false, is it false? That should be fine, we'll see what happens. Um, if it's not equal to false, we'll just go quickly debug.log hitting ground. Save, uh, and then we'll quickly do an else say it with another debug layer saying not hitting ground. So let's go back and let's just see if that's working. So wait for it all to compile. We have to click on our patrolling enemy drag in our ground check, a rigid body, which is our own rigid body, and a ground layer of ground. We're then gonna save that and just hit play. And now we should be able to see at the bottom here, hitting ground. Now, if I go, if we don't maximize this and I just unmaximize maximize this, and we go over to our scene and I move this player just off, it should no longer say hitting ground, although it's not saying anything anymore. Why are you not saying anything? So if I bring you all the way up here. Oh, you can see that not hitting ground is running, but only when I'm actually selecting this, because for some reason it's not showing, <laughs> um, which is fine. So we now got our um, hit hitting ground and not hitting ground working. So what we want to check in hitting ground is we're going to say if is facing right, what do we say, if is facing right. So if we are facing right, we want to say rb.velocity is equal to a new vector two, and we're going to give it its right possession of speed, or its x speed of speed, and rb.velocity.y, so we don't change our y velocity. We don't want to copy this, go down here and say else, which is really buggy, paste in this and all we're going to say if we're not face right then we're going to go at a negative speed but we need to be able to not face right so what we're going to do down here in the else statement so if our collider falls off the edge we're going to say um, is facing right is not equal to is facing right or it's equal to not facing right which basically means um, this will no longer be whatever this is it's going to be the opposite of so if we were facing right then it's going to be not facing right if we were facing right then it is no I've, you know what I mean um, and then we also want to trans rotate our player so we're just going to say um, transform dot local scale is equal to a new vector free no it's equal to a new vector free and we're going to have a minus or we'll say minus transform dot local scale dot x so it's the opposite of whatever our x was. God, this is really annoying. Then we're going to give its y value of just one and its x value of just one. Hit save, and now that should be flipping our player every time uh, we that should completely flip us around as soon as we're not touching anymore, and then we will be touching. So, 
transform.local scale, new factor two. I think that's right. Let's go back to our Unity check. We haven't added anything new and hit play. And let's see what happens to our patrol unit. So he moves left, he moves right, he moves left, he moves right, he moves left, and he moves right. There you go. So now he is patrolling. So now, for example, if we go to our scene quickly, zoom in, and let's start adding some more platforms, for example. So let's click on platforms and let's just add some more of these. He should now keep going until he hits the edge again and he'll turn around. And if we go this way, you'll see he'll keep going until he hits the edge and he turns around. So he's patrolling that whole platform. Let's undo this. So that is now how we do a patroller. So now let's give our enemy a quick color just to make him less, more enemy. So we'll say FF5858. I like that color, although I don't know if it fits with our game. But, you know, so let's press play and let's actually have a quick run around and go barge our player. See what happens when we knock him around. Obviously, this isn't intended to do anything. Get off! Ah, take that! Oh, now we've broke him. We have 100% broke him. Yep. If he hits, obviously, a wall, you may want to do a check to see if he hits a wall facing him. But for now, this is just with platforms with edges. <laughs> so, that is how you create a patrolling enemy which you can break by throwing them off the edge into a wall. Um, but we'll have a look at other types of patrolling enemies that don't just patrol a platform, but more or less patrol until they hit a wall and then they'll turn around again. So, for example, we'll, do, we'll, we'll, we'll mess around and see which ways they can go. So, thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you've... If you think you're, you want to see more and, you know, you, you want to support me, then smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching this video guys, peace out and keep